Okay, we're in the last section. of our finance that we'll cover. Here we've mentioned several things. Part of it is your portfolio. Okay. Um, We've stated how to save wisely and invest for retirement. Now we all of us desire and that is your dream car truck or item so we're saying we're going to study about cars trucks etc All right, now, point six will be uh, regarding the loan you pay off weekly or monthly payments or payments to some other time period. It's called an installment loan. So that's what we're studying, installment loans. Uh, the advan advantage of an installment loan is that the consumer can use the product immediately and that's critical that means you drive away with the car all right uh, the disadvantage is that the interest can add a substantial amount to the cost of the purchase so we're going to begin this study with a fixed installment loans, fixed installment loans. That's what they offer. Uh, through banks, car dealerships, from uh, company car, um, well, uh, from like Toyota, or Ford, etc. Uh, offer their own. And what you're involved with is checking the best interest rate. Right? Because we learned about that, the best interest rate. The higher the percent, the more cost heard. And of course, right now, uh, interest rates are beginning to rise. So here we have an outrageous formula. And when I went to college, I used this. But, <laughs> see, our app key. So let's review a little bit of what's going to happen. Now, our TI-84 that we're using, or 83, you're going to go to the apps key. 
and then you're going to choose number one, finance, and enter. And on the next window, you're going to enter again to get to the TVM solver. Uh, now we have some values here. We have the N, the percent, the present value, the payment, and the future value, and the PY and CY. Now these, I've, re I've rewritten the fact that the cap N is year times N, and N is the uh, fixed number of payments per year. I percent is the rate percent value uh, without uh, changing to a decimal. And uh, the present value is the amount of the loan after down payment or trade-in. A down payment is an amount submitted to sales, to, uh, well, actually, to car dealership as intent to buy. It is required, either a trade-in or a down payment. A trade-in is the accepted worth of the vehicle pre presently owned. So one or the other has to take place. So then this amount is subtracted from contractual, that means agreed upon, um, that, uh, well, the contractual amount of vehicle purchased. That'll work. All right. Now you, you need one, either the trade-in or the down payment, but sometimes you save extra money and you don't want to owe too much so that you can afford the payments. Okay. Now, when you're buying a vehicle, number one important the payment ceiling for personal purchase. So you want to make sure you go in knowing what can, you can afford to make as a payment. So we're going to do an example now. All right. And I'm going to open up my calculator, and I haven't done that. Sometimes your instructor is far behind. We have it set, but apparently I must have messed with it. Sorry. Apologize for that. There it is. All right. So we want to first 
uh, clean our environment so we can get ready. And there it is. Okay. So, suppose that you decide to borrow 16000 for four years at 6% to purchase a new car. Find the monthly payment to the nearest cent and the total interest paid for the loan. So, uh, our first entry is uh, find the monthly payment to the nearest cent. Okay. <laughs> I like that commercial, commercial about and your monthly payment on your phone. Now the nearest cent means two decimals. Because so that's how many is two decimals. Alright. So we need we have the uh, present value of sixteen thousand. The rate is six percent uh, and uh, it's funny money uh, oh I forgot to talk for four years sixteen thousand that's pretty good all right so let's see what we have well we know that the cap in is monthly Payments per year is monthly, so that's going to be a 12 times 4 years. Our interest rate is 6. Our present value, even, I'm sure this is with the down payment or trade-in, is 16000 Zero here. Zero, because we're going to pay off that note. And our, cap, our little n is 12 monthly. monthly payments. All right. So we're going to come here to our calculator. We're going to hit our apps key. We're going to enter on the finance key, enter in the TVM. And no, we can either clear and retype or type over one or the other. So I go 12 times four years at flat 6%. Our present value is 16,000, making sure I put that in correctly zero on payment and zero on future value and 12 and 12. So now I'm going to move the cursor here and I'm going to do an alpha stop, which is our inner key. All right, so here I go. So I move the flashing cursor to my payment right there. And then I'm going to do the alpha key and enter. And I get this number right here. And we know about the negative. It's because it's anticipated and the format of this uh, calculator, in order to have the formula work, um, it, ha it uses that. So we want two decimal places. So our payment is this amount, $375.76. Now, the B part asked for a total interest paid on the loan. So here we go. Well, we need to remember that uh, we're making payments uh, and we're going to multiply by how many payments per year times the total number of years and subtract the present value, uh, which was the amount that we used, um, uh, the loan amount. So here we go. We're going to do that next. So our payment is 375.76 times 12 months times 4 years minus 
the present value, which was 16,000. All right, so we have to use the home screen. So we do a second, should be blue. Second mode, which is quit. Uh, and it'll get us there. So we're gonna review that just to make sure nobody's on uh, lost second mode and I'm back on the home screen. I'm going to enter what I presented as my interest. Now you know me in this calculator online, I have to make sure I got it all. Sure enough, and I enter. So we paid for the luxury of um, having a, an installment loan, $2,036.48. That's total interest paid on loan. All right. So this is kind of a benchmark. 6% is a little high, um, but, but we understand that um, in our society, we do have to keep up with the trends. And it changes according to how, um, how our society is working, if everybody's working, and just a lot of stuff, and the risk factor of age. Okay, so suppose you are thinking about buying a car and have narrowed down your choice to two options. A new car option one, the new car costs $17,000 and can be financed with a three year loan at six and three tenths percent. A new car loan option two, the same car costs financed with a five year loan at four and eight tenths percent. All right, so we're doing a number one first, and it is, uh, it is uh, financed with a loan at 6% for three years. All right, so our N is 12 times, cap N is 12 times three. Our percent for that one, 6.3. Our present value of the vehicle is $17,000. We don't know our payments. We know we're going to pay it off and our N is 12. Okay, so we know our N is 12 and for the second one, it's five years. Uh, the longer the years, the payment usually is less, but the interest is always different. So our interest here is 4.8%. Our present value is 17,000. Zero on payments, zero on future value, and 12 and 12. So let's see which is uh, uh, the total interest paid on the loan. So here we go, we're going to go to our apps key, finance, enter, enter on the TVM. We're going to do the first one 12 times the three years. And we're going to do six and three tenths percent, 17,000. Zero, zero, 12 and 12. So I'm going to go to my payment, back out the saw. And I'm going to do the green alpha and the inner, and I'm going to have put to the cents 
Uh, when I uh, when I rounded the shakes is greater than or equal to five, so we made it in line. So now we're going to come up here and do the next one. Twelve times five. The interest rate is less. Oops. Uh, the, the present value is the same, the payment is zero, everything is the same. So in our payment right there, we're doing 60 months versus the 36. And uh, and so let's see what we have. I'm going to do the alpha enter. Solve. All right. So let's see. I haven't done anything yet. Alpha N. And I get a payment amount of 31926 cents. As you can see, it's a lot less than the 519 that we calculated on the first uh, first one. So now we want what is the difference in monthly payments? Okay. All right, the difference in payment is going to be where well, we're going to take the uh, we're going to take the uh, three year payment minus the five year payment. Right. These are again how you analyze what you can and can't afford. All right, so I'm going to have. Five one nine forty nine minus the three one nine point twenty six. I need the home screen, so I do a second click. Five one nine. Uh, forty nine minus three one nine. Five one nine forty nine three one nine twenty six. Good deal. And the difference is $200.23 a month. Or choosing a three year loan. So the difference is $223. All right, that was the first one. Then it says, financing the used car and the total amount of interest paid on the loan. It's not a used car, it's a new car. Interest paid on the notes. All right, so now we're going to do the differences. interest on the loans. So let's talk about that. Now we're going to do them individually. So my interest is going to be payment times N times T minus the present value. All right. So we're going to do um, number one. And number one was 519. 49 times 12 times 3 minus that 17,000. All right, so I'm going to do that one. 519 decimal 49 times 12 times 3 minus that 17,000. So are you thinking we're going to pay more interest on this one? Because it's six, we're going to find out. Now 
we're going to do uh, number two, and that is 31926 times 12 times 5 minus that 1700. So let's do that. 31926 times 12 times 5 minus that 17. Right. So you can see now, now if we evaluate. Okay, and the first one, method one was a higher payment over method two. Now we want to evaluate. Difference in interest paid on loan. All right. So in this case, it was this case it was the five year uh, note. Interest minus the three year note interest. All right. So if we did uh, the three note, three year note, we have Two, one, I mean, a five, five is for the five year, minus the three, one, seven, oh, one, sixty four. So we're doing that on the home screen, and we're doing two, one, five, five, sixty, minus the one, seven, oh, one, sixty four. And we would have saved enough to pay insurance for a year for most of you. All right. So it's not, uh, uh, even though the interest rate on the five was smaller than the interest rate on the three, uh, you saved more money uh, with the three versus the five. Um, this kind of mathematics uh, gives you an edge on how you want to uh, how do you want to budget your income? So our choices aren't really, uh, well, in the beginning of your professional life, it's difficult to um, to just go for the one that saves you the most money, all right? But it is important that you know uh, you're spending more money at the end. Okay, I'm going to stop right here for the first part, and I'll catch you with more examples uh, on the second part. Thank you for listening.